Today we are in Clearwater, Florida, and we are exploring uh, one of the best beaches in America. Back in 2013, it was ranked the number one beach in America by USA Today and several others. It is consistently in the top five every year. So this is Clearwater Beach, and we will be exploring Clearwater Beach today. The Opal is one of the best places to stay on the beach in St. Pete. And again, this is the Opal.
just walking along the beach and this is winter time this is a little part of january and while it might appear to be cold to everybody else we consider it very cold in florida you know those people have their jackets on the temperature right now is 69 degrees yes it gets cold in florida with the wind blowing off the gulf and so i guess it's also depends on what you're used to as far as temperatures go but if you're used to the weather always being in the 90s when we get down into the 60s it's cold so but still i guess much better than my northern friends who come down here and this is probably why i like to stay in florida i love the uh, the florida beach here clearwater beach the sand is super white it is also extremely soft some people compare it to sugar I'm more likely compared to a, a flower <laughs> or a baby powder. It has no grains in it whatsoever. Uh, it doesn't dissolve into the water. It just stays itself. It's so fine. It's unreal. So, winter time is much different than it is other times of the year. As you can tell now, we have a few people on the beach, but not a massive amount. Still, this is an ideal place for a digital nomad like me, Johnny Ray, to spend Florida. So this is where my winter home is, this is where I spend my winters. And I like it here because I can lay back and do my video editing. I can write my novels, I can do a lot of my work here in Florida. So those that haven't been in a while, remember this is one of the top three beaches year after year uh, in the United States. So if you can stay in the top three year after year, there must be a reason to have it. The hotels here are fantastic. Uh, the beach is level, it's flat, it's pure white. And so this is a great place to spend your vacations. Now this time of year, we have a lot of visitors from around the world. But the number one place is probably from Canada. Canada does invade us big time in the winter, and of course down here we call them snowbirds. And it's kind of a word that, you know, not derogatory holidays, a lot of them prefer to be called snowbirds. Anyway, it's a good place to have. We've got the wind blowing, I'm not sure how my videos might be, but we can cut and I can do walkovers, or I can do just pictures of the area. But you can see it's nice. This beach uh, is probably three or four miles long. But between here and St. Pete Beach, there's 35, 37 miles of beach. So there's a lot of beach to cover. And believe it or not, well, they all look kind of the same. They all have their own individual characteristics. I'm going to be exploring all of them in future videos. As I'm here, and I need to get some footage, so this is a good place to get it. So I'm going to get back over here where the uh, hotels are. Go over there and get out of this wind for a little while. But again, this is uh, the cabanas a lot of people rent when they get here. It's a good place to get out of the sun. Surfside's uh, one of the biggest places to shop here. They do have parking. And while parking's expensive, I understand everywhere, but at $10 a day, that's kind of hard to beat.
number one beach in the country we got the best seafood we got the best views and Todd is here Todd Rogner so I mean 23 years bartending on this beach three different places um, I've been working here four years the food's awesome and um, you get the ladies and greatest just come see me Todd on Monday this place is much better than north north right now right oh yeah exactly or 50 degrees difference <laughs> come on down it may only be 50 but it's 50 to 65 Degrees warmer than up north. And you're the easiest place to find on the beach. Yeah. Two cans like the bird. Whoop. Thank you very much. You got it. Hey guys, there's no reason why you shouldn't come to Florida. The reason why you should come to Florida is because look at all this spectacular view that we have here. And we have very positive people here in Florida. And this is the time of the year to come to Florida and spread all the positive energy that we have out here and just bring everybody together and come down to Florida and enjoy our beautiful warmth and our sunshine warmth. Peace.